Hello everybody, it's me Ross and welcome to another video. Today I'm joined by John Waldron from the Colchester Gazette to discuss and get some insight on Armando Dobra, of course, on loan with the U's this season in League Two. And John, thank you very much for joining me. Um, overall thoughts on his season so far? Colchester are struggling, but it seems Dobra's doing all right. Yeah, I've been really impressed by him, actually. Yeah, he's um, he settled in nicely. Um, you know, he's, he's been playing in a team that's had a lot of changes since the summer, and many of them have been uh, former Ipswich Town players coming into the squad. Uh, I think that's certainly helped him um, sort of settle into to new surroundings. And, um, you know, he's played quite a few games. Um, I think it's sort of seven league starts that he's made. Um, he's been a regular sort of in, in the squad. And certainly if he's not been starting games, he's been coming off the bench and making an impact um, and doing doing good things. Um, so um, generally speaking, I think um, people have been pretty impressed by by what he's had to offer. And he's, he's undoubtedly a very talented young player, very skillful young player. Definitely. And um, I'm sure it was easy for him to settle in because he's got former teammates of Chambers, Skews, Judge, Sears. I'm sure he knows Tommy Smith and Dean Gherkin from, from their Mitchell's days as well. Um, the question would be, how has he fared in League Two, really? You know, he has played a lot of League One football for town, 30 appearances in total. So he has played proper men's football, but this is his first loan spell out. Um, how has he really fared in League Two against... Well, League Two and League One is sort of similar leagues, but I'm sure League Two is a bit more gritty. Of course, he loves to, he's a feisty player. He loves to go into tackles. So how's he been getting on? Yeah, I, I, that's a really good point. And I, I, I've I been really impressed by that side of his game as well. You know, as you say, perhaps he's, that's his natural game. He's, not only is he very skillful and good on the ball and likes to sort of run at defenders and create things, um, but he also has that kind of commitment on his side and um, tenacity and aggression in his game. And that's really come out a lot in every, every single game I've seen him play for, for Colchester United. And um, he's not afraid to, to roll up his sleeves and fight for the cause. And um, I think that's really important. Um, certainly in League Two, there's a lot of quality in there, but you do find games where, you know, you do have to sort of battle for, for every point, really. And um, that's that's been the case so far this season for Colchester. And Armando's really sort of knuckled down and done that and um, been part of, of the team. And um, you know, at a time sort of um, quite feisty, really, and in a good way that, you know, he's wanted to win the ball back if he's lost it or, you know, help the team out in any way he can and do his defensive work as well. So I think Colchester fans will have seen not only that he's a very talented, young, skillful player who's capable of making things happen for his team, but also doing the other side of the, the job for them as well and, and sort of rolling up his sleeves. And I think that's probably one of the best, best things about his sort of spell at Colchester so far. Definitely. And um, of course, he unfortunately is playing in a struggling side, you know, down there at the bottom of the table, not bottom, 22nd. I want to clarify that. They're not bottom of League Two. But um, they've just, I've just seen they've lost Jasper. He's gone to gone back to Fulham. Uh, he was a great little loan spell. I remember watching the game against Sudbury and he was, I know it was Sudbury, um, of course, a local side to us. But um, he was fantastic in the game and Dobra was fantastic as well. Um, so is that going to be a big loss for Colchester and can Dobra step up to the plate of Jasper? Yeah, it's, it's interesting you, you mentioned Sil Jasper because um, the two of them, you, we haven't really seen them play in the same team very much this season. It's kind of been either or um, for those two. And they're both, they were both loanees at Colchester from um, higher place clubs in the, in the pyramid um, uh, in Ipswich Town and Fulham. Um, and um, similar kind of players in the, in the sense that um, very talented on the ball, like to make things happen, run at defenders. Um, so you can understand perhaps why they haven't been both used in the starting lineup at the same time for Colchester United. So the, the obvious thing to say would be now, now that Silva has gone back to Fulham, um, that Armando perhaps will get more regular first team starts for, for Colchester United. Um, and certainly, um, you know, he, he has started a lot of games so far this season, but we would be wanting to start more in the, in the second half of, of the season. And um, I know that Colchester United are looking for a replacement for Silva Jasper. They, they've confirmed that officially. So um, that will obviously influence possibly the amount of game time that Armando gets in the second half of the season. But I do think he's done enough in the first half of the season to suggest that, you know, you can start games for them and influence them and, and try and get points on the ball for them, make things happen. Because, you know, one of the biggest things Colchester have had to contend with is a lack of goals so far this season. And that, that's that been very detrimental to their, their campaign. And, you know, the likes of Armando, would, will be they'll be looking at him to sort of step up and try and create and score as well. Definitely. I was about to say that he's only scored two goals this campaign. I'm sure he want to score more just to add to his his whole whole game, really, is to score more goals, getting assists as well. Um, you know, the big question is, has his loan been a beneficial for Dobra? Um, as I said, he's played 30 league games for town or 30 games 
altogether in his, in his career so far. So at least he has played proper men's football, as I said earlier in the video. Um, but I know town fans wanted him to stay. They wanted him to get into the first team. But I think for me, I felt he needed a loan spell out and has it been beneficial for both sides? I think so. Yeah, absolutely. I think if you look at um, look at it from Armando's point of view and Colchester's point of view, um, it's been a loan that has worked um, to a degree. Um, I think it's seven or eight league starts he's made. Arguably, would he would perhaps be looking for more than that coming to down to League Two from League One. Um, but you know, at the same time, it's a learning curve for Armando. He's still a very young player. Um, he's also we, we have to mention as well, perhaps, the, the fact that he's been away once or twice for international duty, um, which is kind of um, has been beneficial for him, absolutely, because going away and playing for your country under 21 level, uh, Albania, has, has been amazing for someone like him being so young. Um, but it has been a little bit disruptive as well for him in, in that he's missed Colchester United games as a result. And that's just one of those things when you, you're playing in, in sort of League One, League Two, when the international break um, does coincide with fixtures in, in the in the EFL. So um, it's been kind of a bit stop-start in that respect for him. But I think it, from an Ipswich Town point of view, you know, they'll be looking at his loan. And um, I think generally as a parent club, you want your young player to be playing regularly and getting great experience. And I'm sure especially the geographically very, very close to Ipswich. You know, there'll be people watching him pretty much every game from Ipswich Town and monitoring his progress. So, you know, that, that's the main thing for them, that he's in and around that first um, 11 and he's making an impact and he, he's doing good things for Colchester. And I think, generally speaking, that's been the case. And to sort of finish on the video, I remember last year, um, Dobro, I think, rejected the guy out on loan to Crawley. I think Crawley wanted him on loan, but he said, no, I want to fight for my place at town. Um, I think this year, Paul Cook, of course, made 19 summer signings. So I think there was no choice, really, than the guy out on loan. But um, yeah, any other notes for town fans to be excited about? Um, hopefully next year he can be in the first team or maybe another loan spell could benefit him again. Well, one thing I'll say is that um, Armando, has, he has shown a bit of versatility. And I think that's always good a good sign for a young player in that, you know, he can play, he's shown he can play both left and right side. He's also played just behind Freddie Sears sometimes in, in a more central role, um, you know, to, to varying degrees of success. But um, with a young player, you, you're always going to get a, deg a degree of um, inconsistency. Um, but generally speaking, he's shown that he can, he can play in different roles. And I think that um, possibly he would argue that, that playing centrally is, is his favoured role, but there is potential there for him to be playing out wide. And the, the league goal that he scored against Scunthorpe um, a few a few months ago, a couple of months ago, was an, an excellent goal. He sort of cut in from the left flank and curled a shot into the far top corner of the net. And it will probably be a contender for uh, Colchester United's goal of the season at the end of the campaign. So he has potential and he has the ability to, to do that. And he's a very exciting player to watch when running at players and when he's on his game, you know, and certainly um, has the quality and, and uh, the, the skill level to, to, to have a, a fantastic career in the game. Um, I think his aim probably for Colchester between now and the end of the season is to be playing perhaps a bit more regularly in the league, starting more games in the league. And perhaps having a bit more impact with regard to goals and assists. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, I think he'll be quite pleased with what he's done for, for Colchester United so far. Definitely. And, uh, John, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for all that insight. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Town fans, Colchester fans, your thoughts on Dobra's spell so far. And, uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in another video very soon. Thanks again, John.